The Mini Freak Sequencer is limited, but it has a few unusual features that might help you come up with some musical ideas. I'm going to demonstrate the basics of the sequencer today, and I won't be showing the unusual features, but I will in a future video. I find it fun, but also frustrating to use, and later on I will talk about some of the reasons why. The maximum length of a sequence is 64 steps, and you set this by holding the last step button and selecting a page or a step. Notes are fully quantized to the grid. Steps are the length of the time division that you have selected, so if you set it to half notes or whole notes, you can store quite a long chord sequence. I always leave the time division at 16th notes, which makes the sequence four bars long. You can clear out existing pages by holding Sequa, which is the Erase button, and pressing one of the page buttons. As well as pages, you can also erase single or multiple steps. Copy and paste are here too, on the Off and Arp buttons respectively, but so far I haven't needed them. I usually enter notes in step sequence mode, which is selected here, and supports overwrite or overdub mode. You can toggle between these two modes using the Shift key. When the record button is highlighted in red, you're overwriting, and in blue, you're in overdub mode. It is easy to enter notes into the wrong step, and there is no undo or scratch pad area, which means it is quite easy to lose work. You need to be careful to check which step is currently active in the LCD display. Here, we are currently on step one. As sequences are saved with presets, you could adapt your workflow and save your preset frequently if you are working on a sequence. Unlike on the Digitact, there is no jump mode, so entering chord progressions can be a bit annoying. OK, let's make something cheesy. First we'll erase the existing sequence. And if we weren't already on 64 steps, we could set that like this. That is 16 steps, there's 32, and that is 64. And we'll enter a simple chord progression. C minor, E flat major, G minor, and B flat major, all in root position. Let's make sure we're on page 1, step 1. And now I'm going to enter a melody an octave above the chords in overdub mode.
Okay, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe.